What's up, guys? We have another Cyrax video today. Cyrax is back on Facebook. He's calling out Bishop Wyatt, Enward Boy, and anyone who has scammed him and his friends. So, let's check it out. No. You know, I tried not to say something. I tried. But I feel that this needs to be addressed. Bishop Wyatt, N Word Boy, Sandwich Biz Marty, who scammed my friend Sondra out of three grand, and everybody else that believes this bullshit. Starting with you, Bishop Wyatt, you're a delusional little fuck. You know, you say that it's karma, but we all know that ain't true, bitch. It's just you motherfuckers wanting to take shots at me because I'm not doing what you want. Because I refuse to be a low cow. That's why you're doing it. So, Bishop Wyatt, fuck you, you little bitch-made motherfucker. You're a fucking pussy hiding behind a screen in Grandma's basement. I don't look at you, dude. You're obsessed with me. For what? I mean, one normal person in the right mind is obsessed with another man and what another man's doing. I mean, seriously, bro. Think about it. You know, you've tried that calling the trolls gay thing before. It, it doesn't really work out. People watch you because you're a train wreck. Not because they're gay for you, Cyrax. I mean, you act like you're a big shot, but you're nothing but a little bitch. So yeah, Bishop White, I'm calling you the fuck out. You got something to say? Say it to my fucking face. Send me a message. Fucking call me on Facebook. Do something. Because I'm tired of little bitches like you running your fucking mouths about me. And especially little bitches that say shit that ain't true, motherfucker. So, Bishop Wyatt, screw you, you fucking half-bitten, two-bit bitch. Bishop Wyatt has said some of the most clear-headed things anyone can say about you. You're just mad because it cuts you so deep because he's completely fucking right. I mean, we all know that you were inbred by your mom and your brother. We all know that, so there is that. Which explains why you look so much like your mom and your brother. Because you're inbred. And N-word boy, what's with you, dog? You think you're this badass motherfucker, but you ain't, dude. Hell, you're the motherfucker that tried to screw me over, dude. I mean, you're sitting there posting out my videos, guess what? I'm gonna just strike them all down. So go ahead, keep grabbing my videos. I'm going to keep striking them down and striking them down. And you can't do shit to stop me, motherfucker. Because you will stop one way or another. You know, this whole striking people is exactly what got CVG to start fucking you with you to begin with. So you might want to take a second thought and stop striking channels just because you don't like them. And as for the motherfucker, Sandwich Biz Marty, who messaged me earlier today, motherfucker, you need to give my boy Sondra his money back, dude. You stole and scammed over three grand from my brother Sondra, man. And yes, I said my brother, because me and Sondra, we're family to each other, bro. And let me tell you right now, what you're doing is illegal as fuck. And we have your channel, and we can and will, and are going to be doing something about it. You send their scam motherfuckers, that's a good way to get a one-way ticket to a fucking jail, so. So, I mean, if you want to keep doing it, then by all means, go ahead, keep scamming motherfuckers. Watch how fast you end up being Bo's little bitch in the back of a jail cell. 
Cyrax, you are the king of scamming people out of money with a fake sob story, with whatever fucking bullshit you have to throw at them. You scam people all the fucking time. See, y'all are just mad because I didn't go to jail like you guys wanted. What, you don't think I didn't know you about your little fucking plan to have me murdered while I was in jail? I saw Tyler and Wise post, and I have that video downloaded. And I do plan next week when our car is fixed, I do plan to go down to my lawyer and show them. I do plan to put a stop to this. You just said in your last video that your lawyer doesn't want to help you with any of this because it's all bullshit and you can't prove a fucking thing. Because what you guys have been doing to us is illegal. Trying to steal our car by having a towed? That's a form of Grand Theft Auto, motherfuckers. Because we didn't make that call. That is literally a form of Grand Theft Auto right there. So there's that. There's all the times you guys have followed my family, followed me, stalked us. There's that. There's the cyberbullying that you guys are doing, which is very much illegal in Ohio. Now, it might not fully apply to adults. That may be partially true. But nonetheless, it's still illegal regardless. So, did you just admit that adults can't be bullied? Is that what you just said? Because it's fucking true. Adults can't be bullied. It don't matter whether it's adults, whether it's kids, it don't matter. It's all illegal, motherfuckers. It's all illegal what you guys are doing. So, Bishop White, I suggest if you don't want to end up on the chopping block with the rest of these people and have an arrest warrant out for you, I suggest you shut the fuck up and you stay the fuck out of this. And you go the fuck somewhere else, dude. I mean, you appear to be a smart dude. I, I'll give you that. You appear to be a smart dude. But, uh, if you were really smart, you'd shut the fuck up and you'd go the fuck somewhere else because this could end up coming back on you. So, fair warning, dude. Unless you want legal repercussions taken on you, I suggest you fuck off. You know, Cyrax, why don't you fuck off? Because it's never going to be illegal for people to talk about their opinion about you. No matter how much you hate it, people are still allowed to say how they feel about you. It's not bullying. It's not illegal for people to say they think you're a little fucking monster. And you go somewhere else. But Edward boy? <laughs> I got a few things to say to you, motherfucker. About how you sat there and lied to my face during the whole case. <laughs> See, I know how you guys sent that dude here to harass me. And I'm sorry, but I was not in the wrong. And I don't feel bad for swinging that bat at him. I don't. I do not feel remorse for swinging that bat at that mushroom-snorting little bitch. I don't feel bad. And you want to know why I don't feel bad? Because you guys pushed me to that fucking point. You guys pushed me to that point by bullying me over and over and over and over and over and over to where I had no choice but to retaliate. I thought you were protecting your family and you had no choice because he was going to incite a, a, a riot against your family. Now, you don't feel bad because you had every right to attack him because he pushed you to that point. It sounds like you just want to have any reason why you can attack someone, and it's fine because Cyrax says it's fine. So, yeah. You can take your little fucking egos and shove them up your fucking asses. Because y'all got egos that your bodies can't fucking catch. And that's where y'all are fucking up. Y'all got egos the size of fucking Mars. 
And y'all motherfuckers can't seem to hold that ego in. You know, for someone who just spent the past couple of months worried about going to jail because he can't stop causing fights and getting into trouble and causing problems, you go immediately back to talking shit and just try to cause fights online. I mean, where the fuck do you think this is going to go? It's just going to cause more problems. Stop talking shit. Stop threatening people. Stop trying to be a big man online and you won't have to fucking worry about this shit, you idiot. Honestly, man, y'all need to get a motherfucking life, dude. We're tired of the fucking shit, man. Fuck all y'all, dude. I mean, you sit there and you say that it's karma coming at me? No, it's not. It's just you little whiny snot-nosed bitches pretending to be badass motherfuckers when you're not. You're a bunch of pussies. You're looking for something to do because you're fucking bored. Cyrax, you're pretending to be the badass talking shit online when you're not. You're bored and you need attention, so you're making these multiple videos calling people out, trying to cause fights because you can't stand that you're not getting enough attention. Well, if you're bored, allow me to direct you to some trolls or to some people that need to be trolled that aren't me. Like Tony, the Black Dragon Lord. Like Bowser, who got caught doing pedo shit again. Or better yet. Better fucking yet. How about Daniel Larson, who's completely fucking unhinged? Hey Cyrax, you remember like a month and a half ago when you were reaching out to these people? Trying to say that you're on their team because they got bullied by trolls too? Oh yeah, right. You're just a scumbag trying to throw under other people under the bus because you're like, hey, go fuck with someone else as long as you're not fucking with me because that's all that matters to you because you're a scumbag. That dude needs to be gone after. That dude is a violent motherfucker that needs to be in a fucking mental institution. I mean, good God, the guy fucking swung on a fucking security guard, you douchebag motherfuckers. Go after them. Tony openly admitted to liking girls that look underage and got caught with CP on his computer. Cyrax, you got caught multiple times talking to people who were underage. You attacked a man with a sign with a bat. You are worse than the people that you're trying to say are worse than you. And took pictures of underage girls at the fucking mall, you fucking sick fucks. Cyrax, you sent your bird to underage children several times by your own admission. You really need to stop trying to be like, I'm better than this guy. Like, fuck's sake, dude. That motherfucker needs to be gone after. And I don't give a fuck if you're in a wheelchair or not. If you do a pedo shit like that out in the real world, you deserve to be gone after. Your form of justice against me isn't justice. It's you guys being a bunch of fucking asshole bullies. That's all it is. It's you guys being a bunch of asshole fucking bullies. And I'm tired of keeping quiet about it. Y'all motherfuckers, you deserve to be called out to the rest of the world. You guys deserve to be shut down. Any hell that you get is going to be brought on by yours truly. And yet, when people say you deserve everything that happens to you, you cry and whine and say, Oh no, everyone else is just bullies. But when something's going to happen to someone else, you rejoice in that fact because you're just a little piece of shit who only cares when everything's working out for Cyrax as long as everyone else is in trouble. I'm going to see to it that you guys suffer the same way that I suffer. I'm going to make damn sure that you guys get put through what I got put through. But only I'm going to go about it the legal way. 
I'm gonna make sure you guys can't fuck with me, my friends, or my family ever again. So there is that. So if I was you, Bishop Wyatt, Sandwich Bitch Marty, and all y'all other motherfuckers like anyone, boy, I suggest you shut the fuck up. Alright, you saw how quick I won that case against the dumb fuck that showed up here. Imagine how quick I'm going to win the cases against all you motherfuckers when it goes to court. Because trust me, I am going to be the one to drag it to court. You only won because aware of myself decided not to show up. Otherwise, they had you dead to fucking rights. You really should not be that cocky about it like you did some massive legal maneuvering to get yourself out of it. You got fucking lucky. I have all your little plans on backup. And I know how you guys like to make up screenshots about me saying that I'm this and that I'm that. I've seen all the screenshots. And anybody with a half brain can see right through that photoshopped ass fucking garbage. Which I'm not gonna lie, your photoshopping skills are good. Like, I'll give y'all that. Y'all's photoshopping skills, not bad. And maybe if y'all actually put that shit to good use, like actually going after real pedophiles like Tony and White Bowser, you might actually get somewhere good. Cyrax, you're the real criminal. You're the real predator. All those screenshots, all those videos of you saying that you've done this shit are not edited. No matter how much you want to claim they are. You said you did that shit. You had admitted to it. And then you tried to say you didn't do it. It's bullshit. But it's saying you gotta sit here and waste your time on one motherfucking dude. When there's hundreds of other fucking people out there that could be doing other shit. Y'all can be going after these guys. These other people that are doing pedo shit. Y'all can be going after them. But you ain't. Because you're so focused on one motherfucking dude. And it's kind of creepy. So no, Bishop Wyatt. It's not karma. It's called you being a little fuckboy. It's called you being a little pansy ass bitch. You're just mad because I won my case. You're just mad. Oh, you don't think I don't know about y'all trying to have me go to court again? Well, guess what? Go ahead. I'm gonna win that too. Because I have proof that y'all wanted to get me in jail just so you can have me murdered. I've got proof of that shit right there. No one is upset that you won your case. Everyone's upset that you get away with the shit you do over and over and act like you're right just because the state gave up and wasn't trying to like, you know, take it out over fucking the Supreme Court and get you to fucking go to jail forever because it was just a bullshit thing. You didn't win anything. Everyone just gave up like they always do with you, Cyrax. And I have proof that I was illegally set up by Kate. So fuck you. Oh, and Kate, just for the record, you dumb slut. Why don't you go off and fucking show your goddamn snack shut, bitch? No one wants to fuck that fucking goddamn 30,000 year old pussy. So why don't you sew that shit shut and shut the fuck up, dude? No one wants that nasty, rotten ass fucking garbage smelling twat of yours, bitch. Yeah, way to act like an incel idiot. Kate isn't even involved right now, and you still gotta throw some shit at her because you can't admit that you got fucked by her. Oh, and for the record, Kate, me giving off pedo vibes isn't the fucking reason to illegally entrap me, bitch. Fuck you. You dumb cunt. I mean, seriously, when are you guys going to grow the fuck up and actually do something? When are you going to grow the fuck up and actually do something with your lives? 
other than sit on the internet and fuck with a guy all the time, man. Y'all say you have jobs? No, you don't. Because if y'all had jobs, y'all wouldn't be sitting on the goddamn internet barking your little bitch mouths all the time. You wouldn't have time to be fucking with me because you'd be too busy working. So I can tell you right now, none of you motherfuckers work a 9 to 5 job. I can tell you exactly what you guys do. Y'all sit in mommy's little fucking basement, plotting and planning how you can ruin my life, all for clicks and views. You know, you released both of these videos after 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So, uh, it kind of fits in fine with people having jobs from 9 to 5 and then, you know, fucking with you after work. That's all it's ever been about, is money, clicks, and views. And because I'm not doing what you want me to do and raging out, you're getting mad. You're getting angry. Oh, and earlier when that video was posted, I wasn't mad or angry. I was just, I was slightly irritated. There's a difference between me being full-blown pissed off and being agitated and irritated. And the difference doesn't fucking matter at all because you still get on camera and like whine and bitch and it's the same fucking content. I don't care if you're actually pissed off or if you're just whining. It's the same fucking thing. There's a difference. Okay? So y'all can shut the fuck up on that one. Bro, like I said, y'all don't think I don't know about the Council of Eight? I know every fucking member that's up in there. And trust me when I say, I am slowly going to wipe out each and every one of you off of fucking internet platforms. Every last platform that you all are on, I will make sure that you are off of them. And legal justice is brought upon you. Yes, that's right. You're going to be off all internet platforms. And legal justice is going to be upon you. Because what you are doing is illegal. Don't blame me, look it up. Harassment, cyberbullying, cyberstalking, gang stalking, uh, vandalism, Grand Theft Auto. Not to mention slander, defamation of character. Not to mention copyright and trademark infringement. You don't think I don't know the laws? I do. Y'all just mad that I know the laws. You absolutely do not have even a basic understanding of, of, of any laws, much less copyright law. And believe me when I say, I plan on charging every one of you with all of those. Every single one of you, and every single troll that has ever made a video about me, I plan to charge with those charges. You know, I would be worried, but he's never ever said my name. I don't think he knows I exist, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, at least I'm not going to jail for copyright infringement. Minus the Grand Theft Auto and the egging and like, you know, the, you know, the ones that didn't do anything, they're not going to get charged with Grand Theft Auto or vandalism or any of that shit. Because they're not doing anything physically to my house or to my family's car. Oh, oh well, I guess I'm safe. You know, thank, thank you, Cyrax. Just, I, I love to talk about you. Thank you for not sending me to jail for talking about you. But CBG and all you little motherfuckers that plan this shit out, you will be gone after legally. I'm not fucking playing around. You guys need to move the fuck on, and you need to fuck off. Because we're all sick of your bullshit. You say it's karma? No, it's you being a whiny little fucking bitch. That's all it is. You're a bunch of whiny, tweeb-ass gamers that are mad that I didn't go to jail. Well, guess what, homie? I ain't going to jail, ever. 
me and my family are on guard 24-7. So, you're SOL on that one, dudes. And if you don't know what SOL means, it means shit out of luck for all you dumb motherfuckers. I, I think everyone knew what SOL means. It's, it's not very hard to figure out. For all you dumb motherfuckers that didn't graduate kindergarten, <clears throat> CBG, and Bishop Wyatt, it means shit out of luck. S O L. Shit. O. Out. O. Of. Luck. Um. So, shit starts with an O. Out starts with an O. Luck starts with an O. It's just an amazing acronym. Good job, Cyrax. A.K.A. Shit out of luck. So, I mean, y'all can grab this video, y'all can post it. Go ahead. Because I'll just have a fucking report and struck right back down again. Best believe that. Like I said, man, y'all want to play hardball? We can play hardball. I gave you guys a chance to back off and fuck off. I gave y'all that chance to fuck off. But it appears to me that y'all don't want to listen, so... I'm gonna have to do what I didn't really want to have to do. And go through the proper authorities, go through my lawyer, and have you guys shut down. Wait, that's what you didn't want to do? Because, like, for months you've been talking about that. Like, that's been your favorite thing to do ever is to get the lawyer to shut everyone down. You know, the fake modesty doesn't work here when you spent the past 20 minutes threatening everyone. So, yeah. There's that. Oh, to my lawyer and his wife, I want to say thank you guys for helping me out. You guys are fucking awesome. I fucking love you guys. I Why the fuck are you bringing his wife into it? Like, I, I doubt she's involved, and that's just completely fucking inappropriate to say publicly. His wife has nothing to do with this case. What the fuck, dude? I appreciate y'all's help, man, for real. I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Because don't think I don't. I appreciate the fuck out of what y'all did for me. But as for you little fucking trolls. I think I've proved my point. I don't even need to lift a finger. To stop you. And trust me. When the time is right. You will be stopped by me. Tick tock, motherfuckers. The countdown to you guys being shut down has begun. All right. Well, that's just awesome, Cyrax. I'm sure everyone is just terrified of your. You're incredibly just. just terrible threats that don't scare anyone i don't know why you keep doing this it's not gonna work out uh i don't think anyone's scared but you know thanks for the video and thanks for watching guys and have a wonderful wonderful night <laughs>